Oh. Okay. Are we back? Let me know if you all are back. Refresh. Um and we can we can see how we're going. Is anyone out there? Are you there? Hello. Okay. How's how's the audio going now? Um. Cause I I okay sounds good. Okay. Cause I I did a quick screen like record and that seemed fine. Okay, so it's fixed. Um. Let's see if launch the game breaks it again. Whoa! I feel like maybe if anything, maybe it was like I don't know, like too loud or something, and it was like bursting it. Like it was based in my audio or something. I'm listening. <laughs> Hoffa's listening. He's, he's got he's got these smooth vocals. Coming back at him. Okay, so okay, just add. everyone refresh if you haven't already. Refresh. Okay. Bit rate seems okay. Let's uh. Let's try getting the game up again. I closed like a bunch of stuff as well. Uh, hopefully that'll help. Uh, and, uh, do you know what? I knew the fact it was FMV would like, would hit me. Right, I'm launching the game. If it breaks, then we're in Agony City. Definitely not like a, a quality thing or anything. Oi! We, I think we're back, Mav. I think we're back. It, it was the audio was fine. Um, like when the game wasn't working. So there's a chance that the game was just over overcooking me a little bit. I closed a bunch of stuff. Um. Every, I mean, hopefully everything will remain fine. I really don't know what that is. Uh, well, I guess we'll just we'll just roll with it. We'll try. Those PS5 graphics, yeah, they they old old CPU boys. All right, let's hit resume and see what happens, and let's hope for the best. Thank you everyone for your patience, uh, sticking with me. And uh, hopefully, we'll get it working. Okay, so who the f flip do we transform into? Was the game made in Britain? Uh, yeah, yeah, it does. It, it was. Uh, yeah, that explains a lot. Okay, I have no idea what the heck I'm doing here, by the way. Because I feel like if we transform into someone, they're just going to be like, you don't know what they know. Should we transform to Violet and go chat to the, the others again? Let's do that. We are going to blow this like straight away anyway. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. Okay. Alright. So we're, we're now Violet. Let's leave. Of, of um, her life. Um, they're all, um, all these different, perhaps different Aspect. You don't trust me, do you, Violet? Is it because I read tarot? Why don't you let me pull a card for you? No, thank you. Okay. I love the way, like, Grace, Rio is in their voice. What do you want to know about? The man. My love life. Sam. The murder. Yeah, let's go murder. Interesting choice. So do the cards. Eight of Wands. Everything's happening all at once. We have to act fast, or at least someone does. Did you sleep well last night? I love the way it says it in like such a suggestive guy. Like, Did you though? Yes, thank you. I didn't see you yesterday evening. Hmm, I don't want to bluff. No, I don't, I don't fancy bluffing. 
right. worried that you're not living up to your potential. Um, hey, and if I'm Mario, honest, come in. I think you're also plagued by insecurities about. Let's pause. How's the audio going, guys? Is it still working? Mario's popped there, John. I'll say hi to him in Noah. Alright. Here we go. It's Mario Noah. <laughs> Here he is. Hello there, bud. Oh, look at this boy, right? Look at him go. He'll solve the case. He'll sniff out. He'll sniff out the killer. Yeah, won't you, bud? Won't you? Yes. Ah. We're, we're, we're a real crime fighting team, aren't we, bud? <laughs> yeah. Now that I shape shifted, I don't know which is which. <laughs> okay, so is the um, audio all right so far then? Because it may it might have just been OBS, like freaking out, um, or like I don't know the way it was getting shifted to the internet, maybe. Um, yeah, okay, so it's fine. That's good. We'll keep going. As I say, apologies to everyone who had to deal with me sounding very strange. Let's go. Your ability, perhaps, to be... Hello, Lila. Is everything okay? Ignore the mess. I was just going to tidy it up. Did you have a pleasant evening last night? Great, thanks. The room's really lovely. Sorry. But you weren't in this room, were you? Pouring myself some cold infusion tea. I didn't... I didn't see you around yesterday evening. I don't really want to start bluffing. It's a bit early to start bluffing. But you Oh no. Was I sleepwalking again? I haven't done that since... For ages. I didn't come into your room, did I? No. Yes. No. Oh, lads, we're, we're entering a den of flies. Oh, thank God. I'll try not to let it happen again. Controllably, Lung adds his own blood sample to the victims. He drops a bear. Mrs. Gallagher, an unexpected pleasure. How long are you planning to be here? Sorry, I can't get, get comfortable. In town? I really don't know. Until the tarot tells us to leave, or you kick us out, obviously. <laughs> don't like this, lad. How did you know Dorota was going to die? Why do you think the police suspect Bronwyn? Now that's a uh, very good question. Logically speaking, you'd assume all three of us were in on it. Or none of us. Oh well, we blew that. He steps backwards, wearily, brandishing a revolver at the girl and calls out, Hey you! And then more worriedly, Who are you? Oh, lads, I don't... I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't see why we can shapeshift into him, I don't see the point in that. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain, I'm Rain. Sorry, I, I drank my cold infusion tea very quickly. Such a tiny glass, you know? Alright, let's, uh, leave. It's quickened. Cough. Cough. Coughing more blood. Lung swipes with his sleeves and stands his ground. Have feel... you met the new detective yet? We're basically under 24-hour surveillance now. I feel like Lexi is the, the weak link. Do you think Sam's onto us? Onto what, exactly? The real reason we're here. What we did. Last, our role in the murder. Oh, God, we're both on our. Oh, man, I feel uncomfortable. We just predicted the murder. It's a prophecy, not a to do list. I don't want to look like we're hiding something, but at the same time. We're hiding something? We're being cautious. 
We said one thing to the chief and look where that got us now. I don't think August is ready for any more strange. Okay, so we got a bit the of transfer of energy takes place. It can only truly be visualized by travelers from a far away dimension. Lungs. Rain, I'm so worried about Bronwyn. What are we going to do? Why are you worried about Bronwyn? The chief thinks she killed Dorota. Doritos. Maybe she did kill Dorota. Right, let's get some spanners going. That's not even funny, Rain. Bronwyn's the least murdery person we know. The least murdery. Okay, let's say she did do it. What possible reason could she have for killing Dorota? Psychopathic tendencies? Crime of passion? Oh. Maybe. Maybe Bronwyn and Dorota were secretly lovers. And Bronwyn found out that Dorota was seeing someone else and just killed her with jealousy of rage. <laughs> or maybe it's just another one of your twisted late night fantasies. In which case, leave me out of it. Lips and lights it. The radio Cough. is like creepier than anything. Cough. Coughing like it's her first smoke. Uh, Alright, so let's visit Violet. I'm glad it doesn't like let you Trunks. visit yourself. He's not Gotta there. find me a good one. You're listening to Radio Um Let's go Bronwyn. No. That's good. Let's go Bronwyn. Hi. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. He pulled his cap down more firmly. Blew on his fingers, then resumed his painful progress. Is there something I can help with, Miss Castle? I hope we're not being too much trouble. It's very brave of you to tell the Chief that Dorota will be murdered and then stick around afterwards. I'd have run for sure. You strike me as someone braver than that. Why would I run? You strike me as... I'm brave, but I'm not stupid. Oh, some bitch, some venom. Turned into the narrow entrance. The young men looked up and down the street, then lengthening their stride, <laughs> stepped into the road. Solid. I'm sorry, I need to listen First to you before I start. Just, just shit out of things. me. Bron, something doesn't feel right. I don't know what exactly, but it's not right. Thoughts on Dorota? Well, it's hard to say with just one victim. Musical talent, red hair. If there's another, there will be a pattern. We have different Do you styles. think it's another right? Oh. A right? As in the same thing we were chasing after in Birmingham? Oh. I suppose it doesn't really matter. You just have to try and stop it. Birmingham. Stop it? Yes, stop it. If it's a traveler killing things. Traveler? No, I'm not going to pursue that one, I don't think. I, I understand what that is. If it follows the same pattern as Birmingham, we're looking at two more victims. Okay. All right. All right, the, we're, the get, we're getting some information. Or the endless replays some in my scoop. head. So they loaded me up with antipsychotics. Ron, are you okay? I'm not okay. I'm okay. Good. It's not our fault this stuff happens. We're just the messengers. We've seen a lot of... Are you asking me or telling me? Yes, we've seen a lot of stuff. You seem weird. Just go and regroup or something, then come back and make me feel better about myself. All right, Lexi. Thanks. True that the devil looks after his own. Night's the night. It's been building up. You're gonna turn the radio off. It's creeping me out. All right. Well, guess we'll go Lexi and go around the car, and then maybe go back to Sam. Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Oh, that was that. That was quite nice vocals there. I like that. It was like, like you know, attuning to the to the voice. Hello, Lexi. What can I do for you? Please don't ask. 
The police want alibis from everyone for last night. Please don't ask us to leave. The police want alibis from everyone for last night. Hmm. Why, why would, like, Lexi ask that? That's a weird question for her to just randomly come out with. Please don't ask us to leave. She's looking already pretty defensive. Have you been speaking to Sam? You're safe for the minute. Oh, yeah. That sounds ominous. If one of your crew did murder Dorota, you Damn can't it, really stay here, Damn it, Solid is so smart. The police want alibis from everyone for last night. All right, let's do it. Well, I don't have one. I literally can't remember what I was doing. Uh, oh, okay. All right. That's interesting. Well, well, Violet. Well, 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 well. What have we got here, then? Yeah, all right, we're, we're Lexi, aren't we? So Bronwyn. What's up, Lexi? I'm sensing... Something's on your mind. The murder. I'm worried about our alibi. Oh, let's go straight. Don't worry about that. We don't have anything to hide. You're just fine. Do you think Sam suspects? <laughs> Am I really fine? Do you think Sam suspects? That's a, that's a sensible question. Maybe. But it'll be difficult to prove. Radio sneeze, wheeze like allergies after running through the flowers on a summer day after murdering a person and watching the blood drip out of, out of the hole, out of the neck hole. Uh, Hoff is now the radio. Oh man, like the case is unfailing. I'll, I'll turn the radio back on. It, it, it's At less creepy hearing it say than when the drink offer. started. I was able to prepare, get some clothes together, do a bit of reconnaissance. I couldn't count on being so lucky a second time. It's still torn. Something's weird, isn't it? It all seems strange today. How are you? <laughs> how how you are we? I think Bronwyn might get falsely imprisoned. It happens all the time. All right, so are you he's, looking to take over? He's um he's definitely interested in shifting the blame, isn't he? Like he's he definitely wants to shift the blame on Bronwyn. He doesn't actually seem concerned. No. I'm just worried. You don't look worried, mate. You don't look worried. I will not tell them why. There's no predictable pattern to it. Yours can go on quietly, but... Hmm. Alright, let's return to Sam. difficult so i went freelance as soon as i could manage to earn enough to make ends meet then at least so if you knew stuff that worked out pretty well Bronwyn programming makes spill. me good money i can work from home and no one misses me if i there is something it's the strangest thing i honestly don't remember but i imagine i was here or getting groceries somewhere I've driven by it, never actually been in it. Wants to understand. Wants to, wants to waterboard. I can't read. No, 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 maybe no. I take clozapine. I think they're for anxiety. You think? I'm a very anxious person. You think? You should always know what meds you're taking, bro. Okay, all right. I don't know, Dr. Sam. You tell me. I was just ask him. Do you not, do you not read the bottle? Steps are going to pass, but he, and it is always he, is just being I was just going to say. He doubles back. We take my time, leaning forward. Come on, say solid. You know, let's not use any terminology like that, eh? So yeah, maybe suffering from a psychological condition. Hey, mate. Don't need to stick you got a light? Got a light? voice is higher pitch than I expected. Nerves making him speak, perhaps. Okay, so Sorry. it's Sorry, I don't smoke. I look him in the face, he looks rough. Oh, I know where he's solid. Like, you know, I'm not gonna there swing the band hammer, I just... Pupils. The spots on his neck seem to shine in the distant neon. I can smell his breath, sour with his... 
Um, I we just gotta go Dupont. And just maybe let's go talk to Violet as Dupont. Hi, I. <clears throat> Hi. Hi, I'm Chief Dupont. I'm relieved. I needed Keep to feel a threat. It, I was, like, no, like, no, like, you know, no offense Let taken or anything like that. Don't worry about it. Who knows whether you've made the right decision or not, Claude? Claude. How's Bronwyn mean? <sighs> Potentially, I don't actually know that much about schizophrenia what, generally, if I'm honest. What were you doing last night? How's Bronwyn mean? Claude, we've been through this. <laughs> I honestly Sucks. don't remember. Yeah. I checked my diary and there's no entry, so I was probably here, as always. How can you not remember, Violet? I don't know. Which is exactly what I said in my statement. Don't try and get me to contradict myself. Oh, we blew it. How's Bronwyn mean? Overly nice. She's covering her tracks well, if she has anything to hide. What was it I asked you to do again? You just told me to report back to you if I noticed anything suspicious. Good grief, Claude. You're a bit young to be losing your marbles already. Uh, schizophrenia makes you believe things that aren't real. The disease depends on degrees, though. That would mean we were shape-shifting physically to catch someone shape-shifting metaphysically. <laughs> oh gosh, that's a real cluster. Of the night. Time to get out of here. Not running. You can vary from mild that draws attention. hallucinations walk to briskly losing and chunks or even days. Oh, okay. Broken heap in the shadows, a long walk right, I'm going to go visit one of these and I know it's going to go Dupont. bad. What a pleasant surprise. I think we've covered just about everything twice over, but if you think I'm hiding something... Who are you really, Bronwyn Castle? Does it bother you, Chief Dupont, knowing there are things in this world that aren't black and white? You don't know what to file me under, and that makes you uncomfortable. Or perhaps you've already made up your mind about me. Why don't you tell me who you think I am? Hmm? You're a con artist. You're a murderer. Well, Chief Dupont does think that she's a murderer, right? So that would be the natural line of inquiry, You're right? You're a murderer. You're a murderer. You're a murderer. I mean, neither You're particularly a flattering. What do you think? You're a murderer. Put the pressure on, yeah. You're going to need to do some more research, Chief. That's just not true. Prove it long to sleep myself but everything must be put in order the clothes i wore are bagged and ready for dis oh chief inspector you gave me a shock what is it what have i done Mucho anger, yeah. tell me about bronwyn why are you here in august well it's not for the nightlife i can tell you that mm. this is where the cards told us to go i guess you could call it destiny because it's the pack! Do you know anyone here? A destiny child. What's wrong with... There isn't any. And sometimes a girl needs a party. Tell me about Bronwyn. She's an Aquarius. Her favourite colour is green. What else do you need to know? Is she your leader? Has she killed before? Are you prepared to go to jail for her? Is she... Leader? This isn't a cult. She looks after me and Rain. Make sure we eat healthy and brush our teeth. What were you doing last night? Nothing. I mean, I was here all night. This cat's on a bronze can vouch for me. Mm. 60 years the Slayer had never been merciful. Back in the deep sh Good evening, Chief Dupont. Dorota's family, what does the tarot say about them? Ron will never been arrested. I can do a reading if you want. Yes. Yeah, go ahead. It's the Five of Cups. It talks about loss and dealing with that loss. 
I don't think you need a tarot reader to interpret that one. Oh, yeah. Ron would never been arrested. Not since I've met her. She's a lawful good type character. If you play D and D. Cheeky D and D reference, like. Lexi ever been in trouble with the police? Have you ever been in trouble with the police? Lexi. No, not to my knowledge. She's sweet and innocent. Or haven't you picked up on that yet? Interesting, yeah. Interesting indeed. Oh. It's called the Screaming Muck. Legend has it that this muck called Boo. Alright, right, let's go back to Violet and then go to Chief Dupont. Hello, I'm Violet. I'm Violet. We would make a great detective team. You watch that stuff, Chris. We could do good cop, bad cop. Yeah, exactly. I think we could do that. Well, I wish I hadn't seen this. Poe's Curiosity Shop is hey, now closed. Visit Chief. What's your Chief? What's going on, Violet? Is everything okay? Yes, I'm okay. Snake in the ship. No, I'm not okay. What's the matter? The new detectives acting strangely. I think I might... I don't feel safe. I think I might be the killer. That's an interesting... That's an interesting line of inquiry. The new detectives acting strangely. Stop taking the pills. Look, just take the pills. Dr. Tanner said you'd start hearing and seeing things again. You're no good to me like that. Just just take the goddamn pills. And off you go. I'm being subtle. I don't want to see you back here, okay? You got anything to report? Give me a call. Any problems? Talk to Danny. Danny, remember? Danny? We just talked about this? I said I'd post somebody this morning, and I did. Then I told you it was Danny. Take the pills, Violet. Take the pills. Couplets, aged 17. All right. Apparently, their essence uh, if you remains screen, ingrained. If you still think in that the could be in the back of your mind. But I obviously Possibility can't for a person having no recollection. Why, why would they crash? Good question. I hmm. do not know. Let's go Bronwyn, and then let's go Bronwyn and see the chief. See if we can Hi. get our statement. I'm Bronwyn. I'm Bronwyn. Dark nights with Poe and Monroe. Poe and Monroe. They're calling. Miss Castle. I'm surprised to see you here. I didn't kill Dorota. You're a prime suspect. And your alibi is that you were in the guest house with another prime suspect at the time. It doesn't have look a look. good for you. Have you got a problem with me? Everyone has a problem with you, Bronwyn. I can arrest you for something right now. How does perverting the course of justice sound? I won't say it, though. I mean... Kinky. I mean, well, the thing with that is, though, is that the killer actually changes every playthrough. So, like, I, I don't understand, like, how those changes work if they just did alt takes. But, like, that that's one of the quirks of the game. We could watch this playthrough now, and then you could download it and play it and it'd be a completely different killer. Fancy! <laughs> Fancy! Pushing me today, young lady. Folk, your body is nothing more than a prison for your consciousness. Your wow. wardens have See? long since forgotten you. Your body is nothing more than a prison for your consciousness. Deep, bro. <sighs> Hi, I'm Lexi. Oh, um. <clears throat> I'm Lexi. Close. No, I am. I'm gonna put that down. <sighs> yeah, let's go back. Welcome to Poe's Curiosity Shop. What is it, Miss Taylor? Why did you hire Sam? Who would want to kill Dorota? Um. To be honest, I 
at the moment, so I really don't know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit lost. Uh, I feel like we need to definitely speak to some more people, but you know, the premise is to like pin the blame on these three, but and all their alibis are kind of fishy. So it's definitely, it's definitely up in the air. I don't, I don't think it was Bronwyn. I think I'm more concerned about Rain, but I do think Lexi is like doing the whole "ha ha, more sweet innocent" kind of thing, and that, that's definitely. Sus. Why did you hire Sam? I didn't hire Sam, the Shaw family did. No, they didn't. And why did you hire Sam? Tarot cards tell you that. Yes. <sighs> Listen, Sam gets results. Nobody knows how, but the results are got. I want the killer found as quickly as possible. You've got a problem with that. Who would want to kill Dorota? You doing your own investigation. <laughs> Great. Let me know when you find out. Bronwyn thinks you've got it in for her. I go after bad guys. If she's a bad guy, then I've got it in for her. What were you doing? Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? What were you doing Monday night? Why weren't the police protecting Dorota? I don't see why they would be. Well, let me see, Detective Taylor. That's the surveillance cameras. I was here till I got the call. Prove it. Dorota's boyfriend seems sweet. Our... Why? What are you gonna do? No nothing, just checking. I've got my eye on you, Lexi Taylor. Lexi, Rain, are they even your real names? Dorota's boyfriend seems sweet. Have you met him? Yes. No? <sighs> Still sticking with her, huh? Down the street, then lengthening their strides, stepped into the road. The first time scared the shit out of me. Night after night, I dreamt of bloody violence. It could be like, it could be Violet and the Chief's covering for her. It could be any of these three at the minute. It could, I mean. The chief, you know, oh, I've got tapes, but uh, we haven't seen the tapes. Could be the, just the chief. You don't know who's got what on who. Hello, I'm Rain. I'm Rain, I'm Rain. A magnitude eight earthquake shattered my world. I took an overdose enough to kill me five times over. I suspect oh, I survived because the beast wasn't ready to relinquish its host. Okay, some Rain. interesting stuff on the radio there. I'm busy. You gonna turn yourself in? Yeah. No. And you're wasting my time. I tell them what had driven me to breaking point, okay. the, the fear of discovery, or the endless replays in my head. So they loaded me up with antipsychotics, smothering my brain in cotton wool. Oh man, this is wild. Wild. <sighs> I was very, very lucky I was not connected with the police manhunt after the body was found. It's six o'clock and you're listening to Radio August. Police investigating the murder of Dorota Shaw are appealing to the community to help catch her killer. The body of 21-year-old Miss Shaw, an accomplished cellist, was found in her home last night. Police are describing the murder as a violent and despicable act. Monroe? It's just terrible. Meanwhile, out of respect for the victim and her family, this weekend's Tulip Festival has been postponed. Not the New Tulip dates Festival. will be announced shortly, so do stay tuned to Radio August for updates. I heard Dorota Shaw was due to play this weekend. At the Tulip Festival? Indeed. I understand why they'd want to postpone it. Tonight the weather will be mostly dry and warm, but be on the lookout for dark clouds on the horizon, as there may be scattered showers. Best take an umbrella, Monroe, so you don't get wet. I like getting wet. That's six o'clock with Poe and Monroe. Keep invest oh, okay, keep investigating our next chapter. I, I don't think we've got anything else to get, like, right 
right this instant to be honest i don't think we've got any leads that we can press i think we definitely need to just progress just behind me soft but to my heightened awareness nearly done any more news on oscar wainwright just the tarot readers no one else is remotely suspicious compared to them Oscar, have you spoken to him yet? It's not him. Rain says he was praying in his room, alone. Nobody corroborates. Bronwyn and Lexi say they were in the same room last night. Shame they can't agree which one. The tarot readers mentioned Birmingham. You're looking into it. There's some talk about a traveller, whatever that is. Dorota's boyfriend Oscar isn't the clear as far as I'm concerned, but I'm still waiting to hear what he tells you. Violet says she doesn't remember last night, but I've got that in hand. That's it. Okay, so that's pretty cool that we can go back and actually like get it get a recap. It was worse the second time. I'd convinced myself I was over it, that I was okay, that I could live a normal life. Wrong. <laughs> so wrong. At least I knew what to do when the dream started. I was able to prepare. Yeah, actually, get that's, let's go visit. Together, um, do a bit of reconnaissance. Let's go visit the boyfriend. Who are you? I'm a shape shifting detective. Right, because the local police are so rubbish. It's been a day, a whole day. A whole day. A whole day. These regional accents. The whole day. Yeah, I went round there in the afternoon. Uh, her parents were at work. <laughs> to blow your cover. Uh, you know, hanging out. Oh, you left at about five. Hanging out. Five. I'm playing football. It's just five aside. Oh. Uh, we finished at about half nine. I called her, but she never picked up. Not much. They always seemed happy to see me. I don't think they meant it. They wanted Dorota to focus on her music. Not long, a couple of months maybe. We did care for each other. No, no one. She was really popular. What, you mean watching us? That's disturbing. No, no, it couldn't have been. The only place you could have hidden would be in the closet, and I suppose someone could have hidden in the closet. Must be a big closet. Not hidden. Well, she liked it. Liked me to watch. Not, not other guys. Just, she had these, you know, voyeur fantasies. I mean, okay, right. I'm interested just because he's given us some information. Described. <laughs> We're not a pair She'd of She'd me to hide in the upstairs closet. And then she'd walk in, strip off, start touching herself. My she got theme. upset if I came out before she'd finished. I'm sorry, is this helping with the investigation? <laughs> yes, yes it is. Clothes, mainly. I did see something that freaked me out a bit. She had a wedding dress in there. She knew I'd seen it, but we never talked about it. That's interesting. Not even as a joke. Not even as a joke. Sorry, I don't smoke. Looking in the face. Awesome. <laughs> Sweating, even though it's after midnight and cool. His eyes are glazed over with large pupils. Respond. Son. No, no, as far as I can tell, Oscar is a good boy. But we've all got different faces now, haven't we, Sam? <laughs> you know about me. The masks we wear. I could be a satanic cultist behind closed doors, but you'd never know, would you, Sam? 
Oh man, the intrigue. She flaunts herself. Her body. Her boudoir photographs taken. Who do you think those photos were for, Sam? Her mother. <laughs> boudoir photographs. Ask Zach Weston. He took them. There we go. A lead. Zach's the local photographer. You should go and talk to him, Sam. Yeah, Violet doesn't know where to talk. Oh, I feel like I feel like I feel like she she's maybe onto us a little, but I'm not sure if she's playing playing games. At Weston's photographic of the high road, it's late, but he's always there. I have a good memory. I'm still holding grudges from when I was four. What? Well, you can't remember where you were at the time of the murder. Okay. All right. I can smell the shit mingled with the hot blood. I toss the body away, expecting it to flutter in the air. Yeah, okay, let's, let's push this line. Oh, she gets easily confused. Youth of today. Tell the truth, come on. Fine. Jeev Tupon was breathing down our neck, so we thought it would be simpler if we stuck together. If these walls weren't separating our rooms, then technically, it'd be true. To protect Lexi, none of this is her fault and she gets anxious easily. I was just trying to take the pressure off. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam, I, I never usually lie. All right, interesting. Usually, yeah, don't usually lie, huh? I was logged into Tarotasm. It's a phone reading service and I get paid by the minute, which now that I'm saying it, it's not something I really should be bragging about. Where's the call logs? Where's the, ask for the call logs, man, if she was logged into a service. The issue is faking, falling like a, yeah. Yeah, this lass has fallen like a tower of cards. Yes, he came to see me. He wanted to know that she was okay, spiritually speaking. No, I wouldn't know how. I'm a tarot reader, not a medium. Maybe I should have pretended though. Made up some fake message from her to give him some comfort. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think she did it, but she's definitely trying to protect Lexi. Why didn't you fake a message? You lie once, and you just have to keep going, don't you? Oh, uh, all right. The years from now, we're getting some intrigue. a victim with my walking frame to feed the beast. Sam. You don't what usually do lie, but now you keep lying. Yeah. Hey, if we should start, why stop, you know? Is everyone just suspicious around here? Yeah. Birmingham. We couldn't save anyone there either. The problem with travellers is... <laughs> Let's put a pin in this one, Sam. No, that's not. Let me ask Bronwyn. If she says it's okay to talk about it, it's okay to talk about it. All right, so shapeshift into Bronwyn, come back. We didn't. Lexi used a Ouija board to get the name. It kind of did. It's hard getting an exact name out of 78 cards. But considering we'd never heard of Dorota Shaw, it painted a pretty good picture otherwise. Hmm. No. Lexi needs to give it context from the tarot reading. A lot of the time it comes up with nothing. Or a sordid comment directed at Lexi. <laughs> I think that's why she keeps using it, to be honest. 
Yeah, all right, let's tell me about the Ouija Once board. we thought there was going to be a murder, Lexi used the Ouija board to find out the victim's name. It spelled out the rotor. Just, <laughs> this is going to sound weird. Um, most people believe Ouija boards contact the dead. So if Lexi contacts a dead person, that person needs to know what happens in the future. Ergo, maybe the person she's contacting is from the future. A time traveler who died here. That's an interesting twist. Yes. Well, not just time travel, time and space travel is also possible. Oh, is everyone If so we accept the fact there are multiple realities, we must also accept there are others like us who found a way to travel between these realities. We're trying to save people. I said we're trying. Fair. We have a gift. We have Mercury, the tarot. It tells us where bad things are going to happen, and we try and stop them. Or use that as an excuse to do bad things. Pen, her books, and a few items of clothing. Even so, a human vessel was out of the question. <laughs> Can you fly, Carafly? Are you asking about the game or the chimpettes? It's Lexi's. I like to think yeah, it works serious, the way yes. most metaphysical things work through energy. Tarot cards, runes, Ouija boards, they're just devices for asking questions and receiving answers. But energy is what powers them. This is this some delicious uh, raspberry and hibiscus old infusion, by the way? You can't see it's delicious pink colour because we're in noir, but it's very good. Baby! The parrot squawked. Poor baby pen. Hi, Sam. Back for more already. Oh, yeah. No, I think Bromwyn met him, though. You'd have to ask her or him. It's not my place to say. I didn't. How did you find out? Am I in trouble? Ron was worried about me not having an alibi. She was Sorry, often doing phone readings, and so she's all right. But there's nothing to prove that I was here. I was, though. Cross my heart and hope to die. Her. Oh, it's just your run-of-the-mill spirit communication device. Want to know how it works? Sure. Cool, okay. So Ouija boards send us messages from the spirit world, right? But where is the spirit world? I mean, there's planets and stars in space. The spirit world must be really far away beyond all that. Go on. With so far to travel, messages from the spirit world must take ages to get here. Like how light from the sun takes eight minutes or something to reach us. You still with me? Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, oh, you're sweet. Um, where was I? Oh, so here's my point. The spirit world is actually several hours ahead of us. That's how we get messages about things that haven't happened yet. That's how we got Dorota's name. Because in the spirit world, she was already dead. <sighs> All right. Yes, it does. You just don't understand. Oh, I thought it said that does make sense. Okay. Traveller? That's a really old role-playing game, isn't it? Hey, good. Good little nod. Oh, did he now? Well then, you know what I know. I guess you must be a part of our inner circle. How does it feel? Cheeky. Are you flirting with me? I mean, I mean, I'm just trying to... I mean, okay. This is not like police ethics. Do we try and flare in a bit to get information? Or do we not? I feel like I've already, I'm already down a rabbit hole. I'm already bluffing. Might as well just go to full hog, you know what I mean? 
I don't know what you think. And pour some more tea. I'm, I'm, I, I, sure. Let's just say yeah. Why not? I, I, on, at this point, tangle. Yeah, at this point, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm not going to solve this unless we get some, some real clear info. Go, sure, why not? Oh dear, am I blushing again? There's a murder to solve. Maybe you should do that first, then me. No, 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 not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Words, funny. That's it's amazing. <laughs> oh. No, she hasn't. We're only joking. She's still here. Yeah, she's still here. I can't, I can't do this show without her. And I can't do it without you, Poe. Oh, that's so, so nice. Passion can reveal no. Your ability isn't endless. It will run out at some point. Oh. Okay. Oh gosh, that's well, that's confusing. Okay, so we get limited like transformations. Okay. Hmm. Right. Hey, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a quick break because I need the loot. 